Pom Pom, The Great Space Rescue is PID Games' newest release on the Nintendo Switch. This platforming puzzler instantly dazzles with its sharp pixel work, colorful stages, and varied enemies. If I told you this was a long lost Super Nintendo era game, you'd have a tough time convincing me otherwise. As far as the story goes, Pom Pom is just an ordinary hamster from Earth and the pet of Hoshi. One day, Hoshi comes across some gems and soon after he's taken across the galaxies by the owner of the gems, of course, the aptly portrayed Cat Pirates. It's up to Pom Pom to save him and trek the universe doing so. Gameplay is side-scrolling in nature. You don't directly control Pom Pom as it makes its way to the other end of the level, in a classic Mario-style fashion. Instead, what you do control is a cursor on the screen, and of course, on the Nintendo Switch, it provides options to utilize the cursor, which is a neat touch. As Pom Pom begins to move, you'll notice that it goes from a small strut to a full-on sprint and eventually jumps, and it's your job to make sure it reaches another platform or perhaps another conveniently placed jumper as it makes its way across without ever falling. Levels begin relatively simple in nature and they do a great job teaching you the basics as you progress along. Perhaps place a flat pad here so he lands on it after a jump, but perhaps a jumper here suits instead, so he lands on it and then soon after jumps and bounces on the head of an enemy and reaches a bit further. Strategic placement of these contraptions is what makes the gameplay fun, and in some levels you're given the pause option. Essentially you freeze time for a few seconds to think about what you want to do. The timer and the limit never really feels too punishing, so you can't necessarily abuse it, just learn to manipulate it. As you make your way through the 8 or so overworlds, you'll notice that each one of them has a unique aesthetic and look. Certain new tools are provided for you to help your Pom Pom make his way across the devilish worlds and plenty of enemies. Pom Pom has no use of weapons or even powers at all. Its success is fully based upon you making sure that it gets to the end safely. Some levels have you building train tracks to ride across, another one has you jumping through a massive chasm with a whip, kind of like Indiana Jones, and others utilize even more insane tools, while also interacting with the world itself to make platforms appear and disappear, which also reminds me of a Mario level. The variety never ceases to amaze me and the levels don't overstay their welcome. You're given two bubbles to essentially fail and retry instantly Mario Odyssey style. Pom Pom will fly up in the air and you pop the bubble and it's ready to get on the move again as you figure out your plan of attack. Checkpoints are also generously spread throughout the levels and you can instantly restart from a checkpoint at a press of a button, so there's very little drawback to that if you think you can do better on a specific section. Each world has one carrot that you need to collect, kind of like new Super Mario Bros. use deluxe uh, gold coins. So as you amass the carrots, you'll be unlocking more worlds and more stages to explore. The performance on the Nintendo Switch is excellent. Of course, usually pixel art games don't necessarily have much of a performance issue, and I don't necessarily have to tell you either that the OLED makes this game stand out on its own, but it looks just as good on the Nintendo Switch Lite as well. Pom Pom The Great Space Rescue knows what it is and what it has to offer, and it provides it in bunches. Short, cleverly designed levels where you control the outcome of the run and inevitably a success if you use your tools wisely. Nintendo Fear gives Pom Pom The Great Space Rescue on the Nintendo Switch an 8 out of 10. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya!